Welcome to EBPF Day. So I'm Liz Rice, I'm from ISO Valent. And I'm Sarah Novotny and I am from Microsoft. So yeah, big welcome to everyone to this EBPF Day in Detroit. Um, we should probably just say a little bit about, you know, this is a community event. You all know it's a community event. The low polish gives it away. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, here, we're here doing community things, community shtick, it's good. It's going to be seamless. Oh, but, it'll absolutely yeah. be seamless. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're going to have a really great array of presentations today. We've got people talking about observability. We've got people talking about debugging with eBPF. We've got lots of things about Two networking, different aspects of security. Debugging. Yeah, we were talking about debugging yeah. earlier. So, so when Liz mentioned debugging to me, I immediately thought of, I have an application, and now I put in a bunch of eBPF traces, and I can determine where my application is behaving slowly. But that wasn't what you were talking about when you were talking about debugging. So tell us, tell me yeah. what that was about. So I think with the, the sort of Cilium background, when I think about debugging, I think about when people say, well, what do I do when I don't have IP tables anymore? How am I going right. to debug my network? And, mm -hmm. you know, using eBPF-based tools to, to do that. So I think we'll see some really great tools being shown today, um, some really good discussion of how eBPF is being used in the real world. There's an amazing panel right at the end of the day, so do not go anywhere. Get all your <laughs> friends to come, because the, l the closing session, we have some really amazing... We have Google, New York Times. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten who else, but you know, some real prominent Good, users important of EBPF. Things. Yeah. So I've got a couple of questions, because again, audience, audience, what you get out of this is partly what you put into it. So what are things that you want to learn about? Because we do have some of the speakers in here, so maybe we can even get them to you know, guide the presentations based on questions or, or topics right now that you may pull out. So anyone want to throw out a thing you really want to, you hope to get out of today? I'm going to mention Daniel, sorry, I'm going to put <laughs> Daniel on the spot. So Daniel, if you can just give a little wave. He's one of the co-maintainers of eBPF in the little kernel. Little wave, I do. So if you have a question about eBPF, you can try asking me, and I might know, but the person who will definitely know, Daniel is an amazing person to ask questions. So um, yeah, I'm really glad that he's here. Awesome. Well, with that, do you want to just go ahead and get started with Thomas? Uh, or, I, oh, I no, we've got, we've got yeah. more mentions, sorry. <laughs> What, tell me about your book, because you've been writing. Yeah, yeah. So um, today we have the first early chapters of a book that I've been working on called Learning eBPF available for download. So they're like the kind of raw, pre-reviewed a few chapters. But if you're interested in kind of understanding how eBPF works and how eBPF programming works, uh, check out that download. We've also got some physical copies of some books, uh, one of which is my kind of high-level overview of what eBPF is. And I think we have some of those books available. I think we have them here. So uh, Possibly yeah. at the isovalent table? Possibly at the isovalent table, which we should probably mention because... So you, you also touched on there are multiple uh, levels that you have um, a content for, so the overview and so on. So that's also great. But yes, our sponsors, because isovalent table... Our top sponsor today is, of course, Isovalent, so big thanks to them. And Liz, do you want to tell us a little more about Isovalent, or do you want to oh, move on to the other? I, I could, since, since I'm here. Yeah, since so you're here. Isovalent, as I expect most of you already know, is the company that originally created the Cilium project, which is now incubating in the CNCF. Mm -hmm. Come to our project meeting tomorrow and, and uh, meet more people who work on, on Cilium, uh, and we also have an update session on Wednesday. So yeah, Cilium and, and eBPF have really kind of grown hand in hand over the years, and uh, it's an exciting project to be involved with. Yeah. It's always awesome to talk about the projects. Yeah. We have further sponsors to thank, of course, New Relic and... And Tigera. Yes, yeah, so thank you to all our sponsors for making today possible. Uh, yeah, do go and see folks outside, say thanks to the folks around the room, say hello to each other and have great conversations today. Which leads us to our last set of slides, or last slide, which is being kind. I, I had already oh, we were doing that one. We already, that one. Yeah, we already had All that right. one. Yeah. I went yeah. past the be kind. But we, can, we can go back to that and just say, be human, be kind. We stole that little catchphrase from eBPF Summit, but I think it's a really nice... It's uh, a good phrase, and this is an eBPF day, so it works. 
But again, uh, all spaces here, of course, are covered by the CNCF Code of Conduct, and we expect you all and, and have no concerns that you all be awesome to each other. So thank you for joining the community, participating in the community, and making it what it is. So maybe, Thomas, you could come up to the stage, and we can kick off today with Thomas's keynote about the state of EBPF. I think everything you need to know about EBPF in five minutes. <laughs> So, no pressure. All right, so big round of applause for Thomas. <laughs> 